you wanna go? Follow me, follow me. It had a bass tone to it that was again house music. Yo, t -t -t test it then, it's yours truly Madness KMA and I'm back once again with another hard hitting, all the facts that you need to know about the house and garage scene right here, Garage Report with yours truly Madness KMA on the one and only Pirate Chronicles series channel. Like, subscribe, comment and share. Just press the subscribe button or the like button right now before the video even commences. Hold up. Give thanks. So today we're back again, just rolling them out with the episodes that you need to know about. And it all shares my humble opinion, my emotions that has a connection deeply with the house and garage music. So on today's show, like I said before, I highlight the established producers I believe needs to be in the garage report all time hall of famers the producers that don't get their flowers the unsung heroes who didn't get a mention most of the time when they should have i'm going to give them the flowers right here that they what they deserve and if you are mentioned in the program you can either become or you're on your way but what we want to reach for is the garage hall of famers So I have said before, it's not just producers, it could be labels as well that's given an outstanding contribution to the garage movement, including the house, because you cannot have the garage without the house. Get it? So on today's program, I am talking about one of the most prolific labels in the scene. If you remember house music to go through to the borderline of house and garage, you will know this label. They have been there from the inception, the birth, some of the biggest acts in the scene today. You would know the tunes, you know the classics, their catalogue is huge. Who am I talking about? It's that time again. Voice over. Voice over time. Strictly Rhythm Records is one of the most iconic and influential house music labels in history. Shaping the genre since the founding in 1989 by Mark Finkelstein and Gladys Pizarro in New York City. The label became known for its ability to tap into the underground house scene, launching the careers of numerous legendary artists and DJs. In the early 90s, Strictly Rhythm played a pivotal role in a defining house music sound, signing groundbreaking artists like Todd Terry, Roger Sanchez, Armin Van Helden, Eric Murillo, Barbara Tucker, Masters at Work, and the list goes on, churning out hits like I Feel It by Judy Cheeks and Free by Ultranate. Logic, Blues For You, Morales, Grooves, Beautiful People, I Get Lifted from Barbara Tucker, Anthems with Masters at Work in India, Hard Drive, so many, it's countless. The label's influence grew throughout the 90s, becoming a trusted name in house music. However, in 2002, Strictly Rhythm took a five-year hiatus after a partnership with Warner Music. For whatever reason. Bringing them into the time, the label experienced a slowdown in activity, but a major comeback in 2007, relaunching its operations, releasing its catalogue digitally and signing new talents like Quinton Harris, Dennis Ferreira, Chocolate Puma, Dirty South, Bob Sinclair and more. By 2010, the label expanded its presence with a new office based in London, solidifying its global reach in 2013 with the mighty BMG Rights Management, as they acquired the label's recording catalogue and publishing rights, further establishing Strictly Rhythm's legacy in house music history. Two years later, in 2015, BMG purchased the Strictly Rhythm publishing catalogue outright, further preserving its vast contribution to dance music culture. Influence continues to resonate today with its catalogue cherished by DJs in both house and garage world, representing a significant chapter in the evolution of house music. Strictly Rhythm. Welcome back to the program, Yours Truly Madness KMA here on The Garage Report with an exclusive breakdown for you. And now going inside the Madify section for Strictly Rhythm. So like I said, from the early days of Freak, when we started 
broadcasting late 93 and then going into 94 the heydays it was all there around the sound of house music and what was the versions on the b-sides that we could play on the radio that sounded a bit more underground bass driven with the b-lines with the concepts so that's what we wanted with garage and this label gave us the commercial the underground had the complete package which is strictly rhythm records created in the early 90s and wow it was a big label all throughout time even to this day especially on the freak of Fam network every other tune we had was strictly rhythm so we're going inside the Madify section right now, and this is where I get a chance to play some of my favorites. Now, like I've said, the catalog is absolutely huge for Strictly Rhythm. And I know down below in the comments, there's going to be so many people in there saying, you should have played, hey, I know what I should have played. And in fact, it helps me out to let me know the demograph and the kind of styles and flavors you listen to as my viewers right here and subscribers. Uh, the Report family. So entry number one on today's program is one of my all-time favorites. When I first started collecting house and garage music, this one was one of the very first that I had in my collection. So I'll never forget it. Always was dear to me because the sound of soul within this house production had that grittiness underneath of the house and garage groove and the vocal. So entry number one in today's program is again, an amazing tune. It's got that smooth touch and it definitely portrays the house music in 1993. A house full of love. Don't you want to go to my house of love? Don't you want to spend some time? My house of love. Don't you want to come? Ooh, be Don't you want to stay a while? DJs would know from your collection, even Joe Public out there, you, the fans of the house music and house and garage, fans that purchased this music back in the day because these were on vinyl and you might have got them on tape cassette, Strictly Rhythm, House of Love, 1993, come on, come on. So entry number two on today's program is another house music national anthem because it crossed over many different genres. Now with this one, again, from the beginning of we started playing in 93, going into 94 with house and garage music, this one was highly on the list. This started and was created in New Jersey, America in 1992, the national anthem that still remains because you play it now, still bun down the place. Alias, follow me.
1992, you know, and you know we could play that today in 2024. Come on! So as I mentioned before, if you're a fan of going out to the event back to 95, 51st State Festival, for example, and you would hear a lot of the classic tunes that most of them would stay inside of the box, but then you could come outside of the box. But those middle roll tunes that all DJs can play are back to 95 without going in to do deep of an education would guarantee to know it because the intro alone, you know, I always speak about intros, always have to be something special to set a standard and a precedence and a statement. What's about to happen next? This tune was one of those ones from what's the year 1994. It had a bass tone to it that was, again, house music, but it had the garage underground feel to it. So that's the house and garage crossover tunes here. Edge number three, Soul Fusion, bass tone, 1994. even have to go further with that one that's just in everybody's box right if you're playing an old school garage set and it's that type of house and garage old school someone's gonna play that one you know it it's an anthem still to this day and sounds great still you can't get tired of them set a tune there Right, so entry number four and the final entry on today's Madify section, just to give you my opinions and my vibe, my elements, my emotions when it comes to House and Garage. Do you ever remember on my Facebook page, Madness KMA, artist like page, you can go over there, hit the like button if you want to. Um, and over there I used to do, you know, 10 years ago or so, I used to do the, when you remember how real garage music used to sound because it gives a picture or an emotional movie. And it was a meme of its time to, the emotions that carries through for any individual when it comes to house and garage music. And this is one of those tunes with the soul is so deep in it. It just makes sense. <laughs> music. 
the younger generation that goes out to house events and those sort of thing, if somebody played that in a today's house event or even the bit of the and piano kind of crowd, would you respond to that and think it sounds new, fresh, current today? This music is digitally now available as well, thanks to BMG and their collaboration when they bought all the rights out for publishing and uh, now with the digital downloads available in all major stores. I will highly recommend you check out their collection because Strictly Rhythm is one of those labels we can never deny and deserves its flowers in the game. And obviously the house-based label, but we used it for house and garage elements. So I can say this, Strictly Rhythm, the outfit, is definitely an all-time garage hall of famer. Like, subscribe, comment and share, do all of those things that help me to grow and the channel. Garage Report with your Shirley Madness KMA. Like, subscribe, comment and share. All of that information is down below and all in the description that where you need to go to. Big up to BMG every time. Maximum respect for their contribution throughout the decades and decades throughout music and still as one of those top tier pillars to reckon with. I'm out.